Hi, everyone. Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. Nope. Jeremy's not here yet. <laughs> Jeremy and Michael aren't here yet. I'm sure they'll be right along with you guys. But hi, hi. It's Yvonne. <laughs> Let's say hi to a few people and we'll do housekeeping. I'm sure they'll be right in, you guys. Jennifer was here. Hi, J Lab. That's my nickname for Jennifer. <laughs> hi, Kelly the cat. Liz is here. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. It snowed a little bit. I don't know if you got any of that downtown area. We got just a little bit. It's not 60 today. It's 40. It's all right. Hi, Deb. Hi, hi. <laughs> Maggie. And Kim. <laughs> Miss Stephanie. And let me see. You guys are saying hi to each other. I love that. LaDonna's here. Hello, LaDonna. Marcy C. Hi, hi. You guys are saying hi to each other. That's cool. Okay. And Skyler's here. Hi. And Gloria. <laughs> I'm sure Jeremy will be... Jeremy, I think it's Michael tonight too, you guys. I think Michael's coming in. I hope so. They they sent me a thumb a picture for the thumbnail, both of them. So I'm thinking that means hang on, I'm not wearing my earrings today. Let me get these off of here out of the way so you can see chat. Sorry. <laughs> I usually I hang these on my camera because I usually put them on, my little feather earrings. But I'm not wearing them today. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Connus. Connus was just here. Connus is local too. She was just here. What'd you get, Liz? You got some flurries, but yeah, just some flurries. I think something might be coming in. So, thrifted. Oh, that's Jason. <laughs> Hi, Jason. <laughs> I just talked to Ruby. I just talked to your wife a little bit ago. Yes. Isn't this cool? I don't know where it came from. I don't know if this is a Target sweater. Or what? I we had these in the seventies. Yes, <laughs> these little hippie rainbow sweaters, and um, of course now the rainbow is also adopted by other subcultures. I don't even know if I should say subculture anymore. Really, that's not even right to say anymore. But anyways, <laughs> I love this sweater. It's super soft too, for not for kind of fast fashion. But I feel like this was a Target one-off or a walmart i'm not sure but i found it at the thrift store still nice and new and i've got my little betsy johnson smiley face dupe on because it's officially spring right i mean you wouldn't know it around my house because we're having we had another dip in weather and i think things are still a cold front is still kind of moving around the country but that should be the last one you guys right that should be the last one it just rained at your house, Jennifer, up in Denver area. Yeah. You think you have one of these somewhere? Isn't it cute and it's sparkly? Oh, you guys, dang it. I, I got something I want to show Skylar. I'll wait till Jeremy comes. I almost wore this other rainbow um, sweater. So I want to show Skylar because if it's his size, I'm going to send it to him. So, okay. Well, I don't have a lot of, oh, I do have housekeeping. Lordy, yes, I dropped a post at a couple of different spots for you guys because some of you are here, some of you are Facebook, some Instagram, some not Instagram, blah, blah, blah. So, whoo, the last two weeks have been a little crazy. You've noticed no videos. I just, I finally dropped a video for you guys. Was it yesterday? A little quickie? It's been a little crazy. I had a family member in the hospital. So I help take care of that because you guys, I'm the one with the flexible job. I don't work a secular corporate job. So I'm the one that's flexible, right? And then my mom's roofing thing, I had to meet the insurance company twice. Twice I had to do that. <laughs> so working with that. So you guys, I've just been really busy. And, you know, I've got my health thing. Um, my surgery is in a couple weeks. And then I'm going to feel a lot better. I'm not going to have all this pain. But anyways, um. So I did not get to invoices for March. So I told you guys, I apologized. And I'm thinking most of you won't really care. But if there's anybody that has something that they need, they really want, or it was a gift, or they just want it, you know, for April, um, just let me know. 
let me know now or send me an email, whatever. If you want privacy, send me an email. Otherwise, everything's rolling over for April, you guys. I just did not get to it. But again, if anybody needs anything, I can handle a couple boxes first thing in the morning before I have to go back to mom's and finish up some paperwork and take her to the grocery store if she wants, if she still wants to go. So you guys will have to pardon me. A little crazy, but I'm still going to, I'm trying to keep up with everything. I still want to have my sales because that's fun for me. I did manage to sneak out and do a few thriftings real quick. So I did drop one for you and I've got another one that I can do if I can get around to editing it. Okay. Got to do a little bit of a cleanup on it. Make sure there's not any kind of loud background music that I need to kind of cover up. Um, so anyways, that was that, you guys. So again, if anybody, you can email me and I will tell you if you need to refresh your memory of what is in your box, I'll send you pictures and tell you. Otherwise, they're all rolling over for April. I will still do my sales. I think I can still do my sales. You know, I just, I just won't be able to do heavy lifting after my surgery for about a week. That's all. But I can still do my sales. So. Everything's going to roll over you guys unless you tell me no, that you want it now. And I'll do that first thing in the morning. I could probably handle up to about five in the morning before I have to go to mom's. And if it's more than five, then I'll finish up on Wednesday. Okay. So, oh, Lynn's here. I haven't seen Lynn for a while. Hi, Lynn. Hi, babe. Hustle and Budget Mom. I like that name. Are you a momfluencer or a mompreneur? Those are great hashtags. I've been using them for about a year. Those are good hashtags, you guys. There's Jeremy. <laughs> There's here comes Jeremy, you guys. So y'all just let me know and I'll take care of that. Um, let me bring Jeremy in. He made it. <laughs> there he is. Hi. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm late. That's okay. Um, that's all the housekeeping I have then. So y'all don't worry about my surgery. It's fine. I know I, I already told you last week not to be a Debbie Downer, but we need to address it because you know you guys are my you know, cyber family and I value you and appreciate you. So no secret, you know, just like with my real family, no secrets. So um, this right here is put on hold, but my other issue I am going to take care of first. And so I will be having a hysterectomy, um, which is no big deal these days. You guys know that I'm going to have the laryngoscop laryngoscopic. So they're just going to put some holes in me here. They're not going to cut through my abdomen. Well, they, a little bit. They're going to poke some holes in me and put in a camera and he's going to have his little glasses and he's going to fix things up for me. So that'll be good. But then, you know, just a little bit of downtime. That's all of having to be careful. But, I'll, I, you know, I can do a few things. I already told you guys that. Right. And I get and, you know, and I'll have a week's worth of Oxycontin. So we'll have fun with that. <laughs> OK, you guys. <laughs> all right. So don't worry about me. It's OK. Oh, my gosh. A lot of you in the chat are you know my age you're over 40 at least and not that young girls don't have hysterectomies too but you know pretty common as we get older because of other issues but anyways i've never had any issues i've escaped so much all my life but now that i'm older you know stuff's happening so um but not cancer yes not ovarian cancer Woo. That was I, that was scary that's why i didn't talk about it too much i kind of told you guys about my shoulder and i'll address that another, you know, one thing at a time for Lord's sake. But anyways, yes. So that was good. Well, we're still going to fix that. Okay. You guys, and you guys, some of you have had it. Yeah. Kim's had one. Yeah. Let's see. Gloria had one. It's pretty common. It's pretty common. Yeah. So I don't mean to be a bummer. Like I'm not, you know, like, uh, but it is what it is. And plus I want to encourage any of you that, you know, you have issues or whatever, Follow up with your doctor, okay? <laughs> All right, Jeremy. Sharon's here. I haven't seen you for a while. Hi, hi. Okay, so Jeremy, hey, you guys, can we let Jeremy vent? Jeremy, oh, you want to vent a little? Please. <laughs> yes, we let him vent on the little side crew, oh on the little side oh, chat, and we all helped him out through that. <laughs> I'm going to let him vent here too, you guys, okay? You guys, he had a bad scenario i'm gonna go get the shirt i want to show skyler that i got the thrift store this second hand but if it fits skyler i'm gonna send it to him um and jeremy you tell them 
It's a topic that has just been around for as long as I've been on YouTube within the reseller world. It is re well, even before that, even before the internet, it is ridiculous. But anyways, let's let Jeremy vent and get it off his chest. Okay, you guys. Wait a minute. And let's say hi to Kat. And let's say hi to Karen. And one more that popped in. Jason was already here. And there's Kristen. <laughs> and Kristen messaged me and said, y'all paid your invoices. And she's got things out to you. So thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed Kristen. I can't wait to have her back and maybe talk some more about Blanco. That was so good. Okay. But wait a minute. I have never seen Sue Mathis make a comment. <laughs> Sue, hi, <laughs> she has sent me so much friend mail and I've been trying to creep around going, who knows Sue? Who can tell me what she likes? Like, where can I watch her? Where can I creep on her Facebook or Instagram to kind of see what she leans into so I can send her a gift back? I've never seen you chat, babe. Hi, <laughs> hi, hi. Let's see. It was, yeah, best thing. That's what everybody said. The best thing I ever did. You had the cameras too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And one more thing and then I'll go. Wait a minute. LaDawn is backing me up too. Yes. And if you don't get an answer with the second opinion, um, a prolapsed uterus in my bladder. Yeah. I didn't know how much TMI you guys, but it, it's, we're mostly girls here and, and Jeremy and a few other people, but Hey, this is what us ladies go through. Yes. So I've never had any problems with periods or anything like that. Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> It doesn't bother me. <laughs> you might have a daughter someday, right? Um, but as we get older, it's pretty common for us girls as we get older to get prolapse of some kind. And so that's that's what I've got. And it, it's not really bad, but it's only going to get worse as I get older. So while I'm still young enough and they want to just, they're, my doctor says, no, those spots on your ovaries are not cancerous because he did a biopsy too. So, but Still, because of that, it's pushing on my bladder and it's making my joints ache and my back hurt. I'm like, and it's just going to get worse as I get older. Get rid of it while I got good insurance and while I'm still young enough to handle, you know, probably recover nicely. So, yes. Yeah, so I'm sorry if that's too much information. But you guys, for those of you girls that like if you have these problems, you go get it checked out. OK, it's not that big of a deal. They know how to do it. Easy breezy. Okay. Okay. So now we're not going to talk about that stuff anymore. So, okay. And I want to say something to Charlotte. Charlotte, you weren't here. You had it too when you were, oh, that's young. You must have had endometriosis or whatever. A lot of my younger girlfriends had that. I never had any, I never even had cramps. So, but anyways, when we get older, stuff happens. Everything wants to fall. Okay. So, I mean, everything. So, okay. Now, Charlotte, you weren't here last week, but I've got the package from Fat Bird Finds where you bought me the smiley mug. It is right over there, babe. I wanted I put it up there so I could remember before I put it in the smiley face collection that if I saw you tonight to sell you, tell you thank you or to send you a message if I didn't see you. But thanks, love. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, Jeremy, I'm going to bring Jeremy in big while I go get a shirt that I want to show Skylar. You guys, support Jeremy on this. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. One more props for me. Yes. <laughs> the best thing. That's what all my friends are telling me. Best thing ever. And Lena, I want to say hi. To, oh, good. Oh, nice, Lena. And Lena, I sent you pictures. I'm a little late. I apologize. I sent you pictures for the Johnny Was dress and measurements. I did that this morning. Okay, babe. All right. Yes, that was so sweet. Thank you. But they sent that and sent a card and told me who it was from. So thank you. All right, Jeremy, have at it because it was a little rough on him. This was Jeremy's first time of experiencing this, you guys. Now he is equipped. We all told him exactly what to do and exactly what to say. If this ever, if this ever happens to him again, <laughs> but anyways, you guys let him vent, okay? And I'll be right back. I'll put you on FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you'll all see this tomorrow. Um, I was at Goodwill. You know, I was filming. I had my camera out with my microphone. And this lady across in the other aisle, I hear an echo. 
<clears throat> well, anyways, the lady was in the other aisle. Um, she uh, was talking to this other lady saying, oh, this is why Goodwill's prices are up because um, of the resellers like him. <clears throat> so I was like, what? So I turned the camera off. I was like, okay, I need to calm down because I was starting to get pissed off. <laughs> and then I unexpectedly went up to her. She had no idea I was going to confront her. <clears throat> so I was like, um, oh, I'm glitching. <clears throat> so I was no, like, you're, you're good. You're good. Like your comment a few minutes ago. <clears throat> I'm like, resellers are not the reason why Goodwill prices are up. So she started bickering back and forth, going, Yes, it is. And I was like, No, it's not. Yes, it is. So then she eventually just walked away. She didn't know she wasn't expecting me to go up and confront her. So, uh, so <laughs> resellers are not the reason why goodwill prices are up. It's because of inflation and <clears throat> they have to pay their employees. They can't sell something for everything for 25 cents. <clears throat> they wouldn't be open anymore. So I mean, the staff in the back, they're always looking stuff up. They do the Google Lens and everything. I even watched them before. So it has nothing to do with that. There. <laughs> okay, You'll be a event video. I'm coming back in. Hey, am I on? Yeah. yeah. No, oh. no. Connor, it might be you, baby. He's good. You'll be seeing a rent video in a few days. <laughs> yeah, I said you should have filmed that. That would be good content because this issue comes no. up. Almost every YouTuber has done something like this. I haven't done a video on it, but whenever I see one of my YouTube friends doing a video, I go in and meet, make this big, long speech too. Yeah. You guys, <clears throat> yes, I know it seems like it. It seems like we're to blame. And maybe a small part in the fact that we do make Thrift With Me videos and we do talk about how much something is worth. But the real this has been going on forever the there's been thrift stores forever you guys i've been doing this since i was a kid and you know i'm a senior citizen now um the reason is mostly it's mostly because of the advance in technology it's so easy now with google lens and ebay added reverse image search and it's so easy to have an ebay account or to have a website everything's just drag and drop that's the real reason. You're like, yeah, they might have seen us and be like, hmm, we could do that ourselves. Why wouldn't they do that? And furthermore, that is not their mission to provide cheap items for homeless and really poor people. Yes, you can do that, but that is not their stated mission. Their mission is to make money for their projects. My region, Goodwill, I'll take Goodwill but all thrift stores are different. Even church charities have their little pet projects that they're raising money for. My region, Southern Colorado region, it's about job training, which I'm not gonna open that can of worms about how much CEOs make. I know, I know Goodwill's not the coolest. I know that. And I also know that their training centers are iffy. That would be another vent video about how they get around that. Okay, because it's a pretty sketchy in my town. I will admit it's pretty sketchy where they decide to put these training locations way on the other side of town where it doesn't serve the population that needs it most. But anyways, and it's nobody's ever in it. That's probably why. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. But that's not the mission statement. And I will tell you, at least for my region, you can talk to goodwill managers, at least in my region, and you can ask them, what do you think of resellers? In my region, they're going to say, we love resellers. They're the ones that come in and fill up their carts, hopefully. That helps my store have good like sales at the end of the month, and I get a bonus. These managers get perks and bonuses as their store performs. So at least in my region, they love resellers. <laughs> so yeah, are they copying what we do? Who can blame them? It's so easy these days to have a website or to sell on eBay or Poshmark or whatever. It's basically drag and drop these yeah. days. It's and not like before where you had to know programming or HTML. Like I had to buy a book back in the day. I got a HTML Bible book. It's this thick. And I had to teach myself how to write, write code back in the day. You don't have to do that now. Little kids know how to do things. <laughs> like how 
like sell like if they're old enough you know what i'm saying theoretically they could sell things if they were legally allowed but they know how to have their TikTok and their instagram and whatever they like so now i'm not saying we're not a hundred percent innocent those of us that do youtube show and tells i also want to tell you that before the resellers blew up youtube you could look at the dates there was thrifting videos from especially the young girls that would do try on hauls. That was their stick of how they made money on YouTube. They would go buy cute clothes and they're all cute, right? And they're young and they're perky and they would try these clothes on for you. You get my drift. Okay. So <laughs> it's just, you know, it just is what it is. The deal is you, if you're going to be a reseller now, yeah, you are going to have to be on your game. You are going to have to know, how, like you're really going to have to do your research and you're going to have to find the things that they miss. They do tend to lean toward the most popular things that a lot of the new resellers all copycat each other. And it's the same old, same old, you know, look what I found. But there's those of us that know how to find the unique items or the ones that they don't know about. And it's still valid. You guys see me do it. You see Jeremy do it. You see, you know, some of my friends, um, Amy, Yoso Boho, who else can I say? Jocelyn, Crazy Lamp Lady does it. Dagny's it's a, it's still good at it, you know, at the thrift stores. Kate, although she hates thrift stores, I've seen her pop in and have some luck. George the Antique Nomad, who really knows his stuff. He's way old school. Um, he'll pop into a thrift store and find some things. So it's still, we just have to be more in our game because there's more competition. When I first started my YouTube channel, uh, I first started being on other people's. There were about five or 10 reseller YouTube channels and uh, some of the OGs, I call them. And I would be on their channels and eventually I started my own. But now there's what, 200 or more? So yeah, there's more competition. And But there's still, it's still very viable. You see a lot of us do just fine. And then there's all the new platforms, you know, whatnot, District, Poshmark, things like that. Okay, so there. I wanted Jeremy to be able to vent. I wanted us to talk about it. Um, yeah, and I I asked um, my Goodwills, the staff, if they watch YouTube, but they never watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Who, but, they're not, I mean, City Mission they do, and the prices are still low, so it doesn't make sense. Yes, and <laughs> some of them realize, you know, and I've seen Goodwill about when we started to blow up on YouTube, when there was so much more of us, they started their Deja Blues in my town, which was their upscale boutique. They tried to go for it. And they said, well, let's separate the high-end items. Let's call it Deja Blue. They put sections in stores and they built their own retail Deja Blue store, standalone even up in Denver, still has one. Most of the Deja Blue sections in my town have already closed except for one. They gave it up. They don't really have the skill set. The people they hire, you know, that do that kind of work, the lower level work, they're making minimum wage, if if that. Some of them are getting subsidized. And they're really, if they have any get up and go, they're going to quit Goodwill and go do what we do on their own. So the ones that are left, they really don't have the heart, okay? But they do try. I know, I know there are lists, some of the managers or corporate, they've got lists of things to look for. They do try, but you can't blame them. You can't blame them. When they started their own good shop, Goodwill, it didn't bother me a bit because y'all, I've gotten a few good items off of there, but then otherwise the shipping is too high and yeah. their pictures, I'm going to use, excuse my friends, their pictures suck. <laughs> so they're, I don't feel threatened by them at all. And my last comment, if it weren't for resellers helping to buy so much, I don't think we would have as many thrift stores. I know in my location, we certainly wouldn't have all these brand new thrift stores where they build their own buildings. And I know they get tax breaks. There's so many thrift stores, like they wouldn't be able to make it just on lower income people that need to come in and try to, you know, get some things for themselves. They yeah. would not be able to make it, okay? And then also in my town anyways, as far as goodwill, there are places you can go to get vouchers. If you're really indigent, indigent, 
is that the right word? Not indigenous, indigent, like struggling financially or homeless. They will give you vouchers that you go to the take to the goodwill and they want you have to prove yourself because they don't want people scamming them. Thanks to scammers and hackers, everything has hoops to jump through. But you can get vouchers to get home goods and like clothes for yourself or your kids. Like they have those services. So okay, so let's see. Oh, let's see. And then there's these. Yeah, I, if they if they know it, but they don't know all of it. They, I just don't feel threatened by them. And I'm not as a reseller and a YouTuber. I'm not taking all the blame from people who think that we're in there stealing from the poor. Like I'm so sick of hearing that for the last like whatever. I heard it before the internet, and it just really hurt me. That but I told I said Jeremy, okay, you got that under your belt. That was the first time you experienced it yeah. offline in real life. <laughs> you're okay. Now you know. Now you're prepared. Like for I said, I we really recommend you just walk away. Just giggle and walk away. What roll yeah. your eyes, walk away. Like <laughs> don't argue with stupid people. Part my French again. It's hard but to if, say sometimes. If you're feeling crunchy, like I am some days, <laughs> and you want to, now yeah. you're in your mind, you're better equipped with what you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. Anyway, so that was fun. That was fun. Okay, let's see. And Heidi is telling some secrets. I believe that. I'm not going to I'm not going to begrudge thrift stores their hustle. I'm just not. But I do realize in my area it's easy for me to have that attitude because unlike like I know some of you only have one or two goodwills. Um, I have so many, like if you, if there's nothing in one, I hop down three blocks and there's another one. Oh my gosh. You have that many goodwills. And speaking of OG, there's one of my OGs there, Glenn. Did I say, oh, Gloria? Oh, if you, I know you don't drink, buy yourself something delicious before you, thank you. I will, I will. And I'm probably going to want to buy some special, easy to digest foods and stuff for a while, some fun foods. My daughter's going to hang out and help me with stuff. So you guys really won't know I'm gone or anything. So, but thank you, Gloria. So before we start now, let me give Gloria a thank you. I need to make some new ones. I need to make some new ones. Let's give this one. <laughs> that said happiness is power. I forgot to drop down the comment. Gloria, thank you. I'm going to add something to your box, babe. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's a, that's a big one. I'm going to make a note and add something to your box for that. Thank you, babe. All right, Jeremy, do you feel better? Yes, I do. You shook it off, right? <laughs> okay. <Ooh. laughs> oh, boy. Yes. Get some stuff for everybody else. Go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, we could rag on Goodwill, especially on some of their nefarious stuff, but that would be another time. We could definitely rag on some of their, I mean, I know some some managers have gotten busted getting good stuff and like sneaking it out the back door for their own resell oh. account. I mean, I know we want, and then the CEOs, the amount of money they make. But if you look at the CEO world, that's pretty par for the course. I don't know why CEOs make a grip of money like that, but they do. They just make a grip of money because I guess they, their soft skills are valuable. They know how to, manage people and manage large groups of di divisions and stuff. So I don't know. It is what it is. But so if we want to be too jealous, then we just need to go to school and learn how to be a CEO. I'm a CEO of the Thrifty Rich Club. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. All right. So thank you guys for listening to that. Um, yes. Thank you, Gloria. That was super sweet. Um, Jeremy, anything else? Do you want to talk? Any other housekeeping? Do you? Um, what else I have? Oh my gosh! See that what just the day threw me off. Um, I have a sale coming up this Sunday, the seventh at 
um, 7.40, wait, 7.30 um, over on Knickknacks having a glass sale. Okay, train. Eastern. That's 7.30 yep. Eastern. Jeremy's in New York yep. on Knickknacks. Yep. Okay, on Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady's district marketplace called Knickknacks. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to go out and find a lot of glass. Um, it's <clears throat> glass and figurines. Yeah. You guys, and I haven't abandoned knickknacks. I just can't do everything at once. I really need to get my boots together. I need to, you know, my mom's stuff. I had a family member of the hospital for a few days and then at my house, because I'm, again, I'm the flexible one. Then my stuff is going on. Whew, so sooner or later, I'll be able to pick up all the things. The thrift battle called Thrifty Throwdown. That's, that's going to be so much fun. Um, do some things back over on District with... Um, Sorry. Jocelyn's knickknacks and then the trash to cash boys um, have did bit, which I'm interested in. I'm a seller over there as well. And I've got plans for whatnot. I don't want to abandon my whatnot either. I've got plans for that t-shirts. So before we start, one last thing. Speaking of t-shirts, Skylar, are you still here? I picked this up. Normally I don't touch Shein with a 10 foot pole for so many reasons. Um, where did I put it? Oh, but I had to get this and it's still in great shape and surprisingly it's soft, but there it is. A color block splice t-shirt and it's got your avatar on it. <laughs> so it, it's an extra large. What do you think, babe? Can you do this? <laughs> Can you do an extra large? <laughs> That is so Skyler. So, yes. Yeah, so it's an extra large. So let me know. I feel I feel like you can do extra large. I feel like I've seen you. I saw you on your whatnot. I feel like extra large is fine. So, I'm gonna send that to you sometime. I don't know when. Just when you least expect it, it'll show up in your mailbox. All right, babe. <laughs> all right. I had to get that though. It was like $3.99. It's so cool. All right. We're good. Thanks, you guys. We're so good. So I've got a variety of things. I have no clue what. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, I had to get that for you. Uh, let's address Sherry real quick before we start. I ran a YouTube has offered us promotions a few months ago where I used to run ads every once in a while through Google ads, but now they've made us an easy button. And of course, you know, YouTube and Google are one and the same. They own YouTube. Um, but now they made a promote button, makes it a lot easier. And so I've been doing that every once in a while, taking a little bit of my money and doing that. And I just got done running one. And so whenever, whenever you see me get a little jump in subscribers, it's because I ran an ad. Now, it's not it's not like buying fake bots from these crappy sites. Don't do that, you guys. That's dangerous. I know a lot of, I, I personally know YouTubers that do that. They do a slow drip. And that's how they've gotten so many subscribers. But let me tell you, once you start that, you kind of have to keep it up because every once in a while, YouTube goes and cleans out bots. And then you'll get busted because we can see your social over on social blade we can say hey you just lost 500 subs overnight we know what happened so you have to keep that paying that slow drip company to keep your stats up so you don't get so we all don't know what you're doing <laughs> but anyways this is different this is through google okay so it's legit and you're not buying subscribers bought subscribers they're running ads for you now it's somebody's choice if they see your ad, if they want to click on it. And then it's their further choice if they liked the ad that you ran after they watched it and want to subscribe. So I feel like it's legit. Jeremy's been doing, uh, I didn't ask you if I could say that. Is that okay, Jeremy? Oh yeah, I don't care. Okay. Jeremy tried it too. And so we're both analyzing it and we're getting subscribers. We see lots of new names and I'm not losing. So I feel like they're not jacking us around because that would be bad. That would be against their own policy. So, anyways, it's so, because you can have a hundred thousand subscribers and no views on your videos. Yeah, that's another way you can tell. It's like how, like some of these people have massive subscribers, but the views don't. The ratio is off, anyways, or the comments is off, anyways. Don't don't take that route, you guys. You can do it if you want to. 
If you're going to, you're going to have to use a slow drip service and it's just going to be a constant bill and it's not going to do you any good in the long run, is my opinion. Okay, so now Sherry. Um, yes, I'm going to do that now for anybody else new watching. Um, so what happens is I do sales every Monday on my channel. And so I keep open boxes all month. Unless you tell me to, you won't hear from me till the end of the month. And um, then I'll send an invoice to PayPal and you pay it through that. You can pay it as a guest. If you don't have an account, it's fine. You can just pay as a guest. You can use PayPal as a guest. <clears throat> so if you if your offer wins something tonight, you just send us your information, your email. If you have a special email attributed to a PayPal account already, but you don't, it's not necessary. But more importantly, we need your shipping address so we can calculate shipping and know where to send it to you. Okay. Now, Jeremy comes over, Jeremy, and usually his brother, Michael, his twin brother, that's why it's called the Thrifting Twins. Michael's in school, but he'll be back sooner or later. So it's Jeremy tonight. Um, they ship out of New York, but he will send you invoice pretty quick. I just do all month because I'm, I do sales every Monday and it's easier on me and it saves you guys a lot of money on shipping. And most people like that. Not to say that if you say, Hey, Yvonne, that was a gift. I need it because I, I can do that too. Like if there's something or I will, I won't be back for the rest of the month. I'm going on vacation, you know, so send it to me now that can be accomplished too. Um, so I'm going to take this down, Sherry, for a moment. So you'll send, if it's, if you got something from me, that's my email. If you got something from Jeremy or Michael and or Michael, when he's here, that's their email to send information. That information is always in the video description. As soon as this is done, I go over and I put it in the archive. So people, some people do come and watch it later, or if you need a recap, but and when you open down video description, it'll remind you everything to do and our email addresses. Okay. So you, you just put in offers. We use the chat. We do take just in case on this channel. If you see someone put in JIC, that's their just in case. JIC in a number. It's kind of like a max bid, max offer, proxy bid, so to speak. What that does is if their JIC wins, it just adds a dollar above the previous winning offer. Because I'm going to have what I call a shot caller. Other channels call them bid ender. If you watch other channels, I just like, I have a word fetish and I just like to have fun and let you guys do hear something different. Okay. So I say shot caller just for fun. Um, after we go going once, going twice and last call, then the shot caller will take over. The shot caller will give you guys a few more seconds because they know, we all know that some people have slower internet service, you know, so to try to be fair, they'll give you a few more seconds, especially if they see people kind of making offers. But at some point they have to call it or we'll be here all night on one item, <laughs> okay? So when they call it, that's it. They'll put in item closed and emojis of their choice, okay? All right, yes, I do need a shot caller. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen, and if you need to tap out, just let me know and we'll pass it to someone else or I'll do it myself. So Kristen Ruby will be the shot caller tonight, you guys. Thank you so much. And Gloria, thank you for that too. That's really helpful. Comments, comments after the video's uploaded, thumbs up, that all helps. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. All right. Did anybody else come in while we were talking that I need to say hi to? If you did, please forgive me, Anna. Anna Mora. Hi, babe. Hi, hi. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. So, uh, Kristen, if you need to tap out, you can pass it to Kim. Kim says she can do. Thanks, you guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess that's it. That's it, right, Jeremy? I said it all. Okay. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. And here comes Jeremy with his first item. Okay, so I have a, a pair um, of Rinconadas, two panda bears. Um, this one, okay, this is the one. This is starting at twelve dollars. You're gonna get both of them. This one has a chip here, 
and some paint loss. You can see it all right here. Um, this one, I didn't notice any kind of damage. Are you going to get both for starting at 12? Artiasena Rinconata. I think I said it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's for both of them? Yeah, for both. <clears throat> awesome. They belong together, I think. <laughs> oh, this one is holding the cute bamboo, and it's glazed. Um, this one you could just you could just color in. You could paint that if you wanted to. Even though you can't really notice the chip on the the paw. Yep, so cute rinconadas. I have I still have a few more. Um, they are damaged though. So that one, this one has the bamboo, and then this one is eating some leaves. Yeah, they're twins. <laughs> this one's, uh -huh. <laughs> one's me, and this one's Michael. <laughs> to be mad. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is. So if you're new to this, um, could be a start of a collection. Hi, Mama Jo. Oh, that's right. Michael makes these. <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside joke. <laughs> He makes them and then I paint it. Uh, okay, so Denise is at 13. I'm going to do going once. Going twice. And Gloria's in for 14. I got it. Sorry. That's okay. And uh, last call. Denise is in for 15. Last call for the cute Rinconadas. Adios and then Rinconada. <clears throat> So, Michael and me. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. It's like my camera's right there, so I can't see the screen. <laughs> of course, I got my owl bracelet. I love that. Thank you. Oh, I like it because it's not too heavy and bulky. Yeah, and it lays flat. I get compliments on it when I'm out and about. Like, I love your bracelet. <laughs> so far, Denise for 17. And item closed. And there's our item closed. So Denise for 15. Thank you so much. Oh, I see. She went to, no, wait a minute. Gloria was 16, so um, Denise for 17. You got it? Yep, I got it. Okay. All right, here's my first item. I Was this in the last video? I'm not sure. But it's made in India, brass, and some kind of other metal. It's pretty substantial looking. It's a little trinket box. Well, it's a medium sized trinket box, carved metal. I'm going to say an apple or a peach, right? Nice and clean on the inside. And the stickers on the bottom. It says handcrafted for the master teacher, uh, Manhattan, Kansas, and a telephone number. So it might be a little older because there's no like dot com or anything. Made in India. So there, somebody imported it in, out of Manhattan, Kansas. Okay. But it's really nice, you guys. So it just starts at five. I'm going to try to show you the great. Isn't that pretty? Still nice and shiny. No tarnish. Good on the inside, too. Pretty. 
pretty, huh? And there's the information on the bottom. It's gorgeous. Yes, thank you. Um, Denise, I'll, Jeremy stepped out for a minute. I can see in the green room. I'll put this up for him. That's for you, Jeremy. Oh, I did send it. That's Karnas. Yeah. I don't know if that's gold plated. It's it's shinier than just brass. But it's really pretty. Weighs a little bit. I'd say about I don't know, not just under a pound. Really nice engraving. Okay, we'll start to count it down. Going once. Going twice. And last call. I don't know, apple or a peach. Hmm. I don't know, maybe you guys know by the flower. <laughs> maybe that's indicative. I don't know. I think it looks like an apple. Oh, Mama Joe, just if there's if you want to make an offer on something, just see watch the chat and see what people other people's offers and make one a little bit higher. <laughs> Up until um the shot caller, which is tonight is Kristen Ruby, puts an item closed. We're on last call now, but now it's up to Kristen whenever she wants to close it down. And Connors was just here <laughs> at my house, just picking stuff up. And she gave me a gorgeous safety pin art basket to add to the collection in purple. I don't think I had a purple one yet. It is beautiful. And another smiley face spatula that I'll put with the one Sue sent. Karen gave me one. My husband's bought me one. <laughs> so and there's Lynn for eight. And item closed. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. So, Lynn, I will start you. I, you've got a box, but there's nothing in it, so we will start you an April box. And here comes Jeremy. All right. Um, does anybody collect Anna Lee? I find a whole bunch today, and Gloria does. Gloria <clears throat> likes some Anna Lee. Uh, okay, I might as well do that. So I found these two. Not just these two. I found a whole bunch. Um, these two Anna Lees. Um, the children, I'm guessing school. Now, this says logo. Annalie Doll Society, 1991. Um, and then this one says the same, but 1992. It's a girl and a boy. Um, this one has a tag. This is from, yep, 91 and 92. I'm going to start these out. You're going to get both of them. Um... I would say um, 18 for both of them. I think that's a good price. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Mama Joe. I, I do love my sweater. That's a good starting price. For Anna Lee, starting at 18. <clears throat> this one is fun. I like the hair. They make the hair look like it's real. Oh, that one has something in it. I want to show you the face, and it has the book. Mother Goose. It's sitting on a, a block. Um, and this one has books. This one kind of looks like she just got out of school. <laughs> she dropped her books down, and she's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Huh. It's the bottom, and here's the back. Um, I didn't see any damage. All right, so Gloria's in for 18. 
I'll do going once. <clears throat> oh, look how cute this is. Look at the shirt. You can see the glare. It has letters on the shirt. Hi, Zivka. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm going twice. <laughs> there we go, daydreaming again. <laughs> Last call. Last call. For both of these Anna Lees. And of course, I spaz when I found them. Scattered all up on the shelf. <laughs> Zivka. My name sounds familiar. Yep, and the block is made out of wood. And item sold to Gloria for 18. Thank you so much. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. And Jenny's here. Hi, hi, Jenny. Okay, here I come. Yeah, for those of you that missed it, I got I found this at the thrift store. I'm thinking it was a Target, but I'm not sure. But I found it at the thrift store. It's still nice and clean and soft, not all pilly, because it is fast fashion. But it's cute. Okay. Um, Heidi, I hope Heidi's still here. I just tried to find the message that she left me, but he saw me thrift this one, and she said this here is a Colorado pottery person and i tried to find the message but i couldn't but if heidi's still here she's the one that told me she lives up in denver but this is pretty little drip glaze heart-shaped pottery vessel just starts at five i have a set of those vintage sheets um first of all i have the shower curtain the towels the sheets all in the 80s the early 80s and i found a pair a few years ago at the thrift store that were great, Dana, and I sold them for like 50 or 60 bucks. And then I found another set, Field Crest, you know, still new. And then, you know, those have, were made popular again because they were shown in the, the red hairs girl on Stranger Things had that on her bedroom um, as they moved into the early 80s. And so I have a fresh, nice and crisp and clean vintage set of these, you know, the sheet set, but I just don't know if I'm going to part with it. I held on to it for two years now they're so fresh and crisp and clean it's so awesome yeah yeah heidi you said this was a you sent me a message babe you said this was a colorado pottery person that you recognize that really cute you guys little vessel i'm just calling it a vessel i don't know a server use it as a vase or whatever but it's cute and signed by Lisa and uh, Heidi recognized it. Sherry, what did you do? You made a comforter from the sheets for my dorm in 1982. Did you have the shower curtain and all that? That was all the rage. You guys, it's so funny I, when I think about this. Lisa Howe. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's who this is. And she's a, did you say she was from Colorado? Okay. Well, Ray, you made it to one. You made it on a Monday. <laughs> Don't you dare let them go. Matt, yeah, I saw them pop up again on the Redhead Girls. Um, I think it was season two, whenever they moved into the 80s. Can't remember. Jersey Shell for seven. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, I was thinking about that too. I was like, like these, and it made me think of the rainbow sheets and stuff. And I was like, it's so crazy how even pre-internet in the 80s, things still kind of went viral. You know, it, it's so crazy because like all my friends, all of my girlfriends, we all did that rainbow thing for a while. 
um, it also came in brown tones though eventually. And a couple of my friends did the brown tones. I did the rainbow, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You still have a water bag? You go, girl. Thank you. Okay, that's okay. But you recognize it. Okay, so where are we? Jersey Shell is at seven for this. Uh, Lynn's at, at eight. Okay, so going once, it's cute. Going twice, and we'll put it in your box. You guys know I get great deals at this store. And last call. <laughs> Oops. Isn't it crazy how things just went viral anyways, even though there was no social media? Wasn't we didn't even have cell phones. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I think we had pagers. Yeah, I think we. I think if you could afford a pager, I think those were just coming out. Okay, so there. And then Lynn. Hi, Elena. I'm glad you're here. You might need to refresh. We're at $10. And I've already made last call, so now it's just up to Kristen. Kristen Ruby's our shot caller tonight. Yeah, that had to go. Yeah, don't worry, that had to go. <laughs> that had to go. <laughs> I think my husband's mom, the last time we were there in Pennsylvania to visit, her guest room had still had a water bed. It was awesome. All heated and everything. I mean, not the easiest to get in and out of, you know, as we get older, but it was awesome. The, the all heated up was just so great. Yeah, fad. Yeah. Oh, wait. Where what was I? Lynn. Item close. Thank you. Item close. So, Lynn, I'll put that in your box for 12. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll wrap it carefully. And here comes Jeremy. Okay. Duck shoes. What, were, what are duck shoes? Um, or what they look I'm like? I'm not sure. Duck shoes. <laughs> Those ones that had the, like they're waterproof. Oh. Huh. Mine were waves. Rubber shoes. Yeah, waveless. Oh, I bet he did. <laughs> the okay. rubber ones, yeah. Um, I have this enamel music box piano. Mm. You can see the inside, but look at the enamel here. I love this part. That's that cool. has all of the detail going all the way around the scroll. Now this one, it plays fantasy improv. It's made in China, but it doesn't feel like it. It's really heavy too. Let me turn it. Whoop. All right, I turned it too much. Oh, this is starting at, um, I'm going to say $8. Like, I wasn't expecting this to be this heavy. I want to show you the enamel, how pretty it is. Oh, galoshes. Is that what it is? I think that's what they call it. Galoshes? The rubber, you put the rubber over the, your boots or your shoes so your feet don't get wet. I know this one's fancy. Jeremy's too young, you guys. He don't remember. He don't <laughs> remember Sporto. He don't remember Gloria Vanderbilt jeans or Calvin Klein. He might remember Calvin Klein or no yeah. other because of Brooke Shields. <laughs> yeah. I see Gloria Vanderbilt um, jeans in the thrift stores all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think most of them aren't really worth picking up, though, to resell. This awesome piano. Let me show you the piano part, the keys. And it has enamel right here. Do you want to be cool as um open it and put a tiny vase on top? On top of here. Ooh, do I have one around me? 
Let me see this. Let me see if it fits and works. Ooh. Oh, that would look cool. And put flowers in it. You just gotta find one. This is already sold. <laughs> polo shirts, collar up. Oh, yeah, polo oh, shirts. Yeah. College prep was all the... That came back in, um, what, the late, like, 2008, 2010? Yeah, college prep is still a look. The brands might change a little bit, but it's still a look. We even did that. Oh, where they were two polos <laughs> on top of each other and had one of them up. I remember that. Oh, my God. Permed hair. <laughs> I'm going to perm mine. Okay, so we're at Anna for $9. I'm going to say go in once. Going twice. Some people with thin hair still perm. Do a perm just so it looks thicker. And last call. Olivia Newton John. <laughs> Let's see, me growing up, it was, yeah, the alligator shirt, um, Bugle Boy, Sitting Kitty. <laughs> see, I had stupid hair in the 80s. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Parachute pants, isn't that? That's like the late 80s, right? Yeah, now we're switching over to when New Wave came in. Oh. <clears throat> See, I wear, I think I wear more of like 1970s type style. And item closed. I have flare jeans and Rolling Stone shirts and colorful shirts. I think I would be called a peacock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to, I don't know, I just like dressing different. Anna for $9. Thank you so much. Yes, Wolf, I remember members only jackets. Actually, you can resell those again if you can find authentic ones. That's for sure. That all that stuff's coming back. <laughs> we all had stupid hair in the 80s. It's all I, I already saw because you know the 80s and 90s, it's trending really hard again as the millennials get older and nostalgic. Um, I'm already seeing, you know, the girls, you know, just the little sex kitten girls on Instagram. I'm already seeing them doing the 80s, that slick, big hair rock stuff, and a little bit of the new wave. I'm already seeing them doing that with, like, the wet look black clothing and the spandex pants again and the big hair. I'm already seeing them doing that. Like, you know, so some of them are going to do it again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping some – I hope – they put a little twist on it like they usually do. Each generation, usually when things recycle, they usually, you know, will put a little twist on it. So we'll see what they come up with. But I'm already seeing them doing that look like they were um, Tawny Catan on, on the car of a uh, White Snake video. You know what I'm saying? Some of you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know who Tawny Catan is and the sprawling on the hood of uh, the White Snake video. So anyways. Okay. My next one is um gee your hair smells terrific oh my gosh i haven't heard that forever okay my next item is an icon okay usually it's a paper cup you guys remember when i found this a little bit ago so this is um a ceramic version these are easily seen on tv if you watch any of the crime shows if um i think i saw a picture of leo Leonardo DiCaprio holding one in a movie. I can't remember what movie it was. The Wall Street movie. Anyways, um, CSI Crime, those kind of shows, you'll see them. You know, they have this, their coffee is in this paper cup. I think, I think the original one is called Athena's Coffee Shop. I don't know. I can't tell for sure. But anyways, if you like that, 
and think it's fun. I think there's even a copy of it at the museum, the MoMA, whichever one that is. Museum of Modern Art. Yeah, MMA is Metropolitan Museum of Art. MoMA is Museum of Modern Art, right? I think so. And, oh, yeah, Law and Order. Thank you. That's what I was trying to think of, especially Law and Order. Oh, my gosh, big time. But here it is. If you want your own to have fun with, and it's ceramic, so you can reuse it, okay? So it just starts at five, but these are fun, as seen on TV. <laughs> so, who made this one? We're happy to serve you .com. I, is it, I wonder if this is a Momo one, because you can get them in the gift shop, too. Let me see. I don't know if this is the one... Solo Cup Operating Corporation. I don't know if this is one that was in MoMA, but they all look, they look the same. They're just replicas of that famous coffee cup. So next time you're watching your Law & Order or your CSI crime or some, some New York crime movie, put your drink in this, okay? <laughs> all right, lots of offers. The la latest one is this. <laughs> so you guys, they don't cost too much, so we're going to shut it down. Going once going twice last call there you go so now it's up to um crystal i want to say kathy but kathy's not here there's no utensil marks nice and clean you guys i'm happy about this one <laughs> i thought i recognized it when i saw it i almost passed it up i was like wait a minute this is the iconic this is an iconic thing Karen, thank you. So we're going to have the item closed. I want to close it down, Kristen, because that, that's it. That's that's a couple dollars above, actually. Thank you. That's a couple dollars above, actually. But thank you, Karen. It's nice and clean. And we'll put it in your box. And you'll save on shipping versus buying it on eBay. So thank you very much. And here comes Jeremy. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> I have something vintage. <gasps> oh, jeez. Um, even comes with a box. This made in Japan. Ah, that's all coming off. I believe this is a Santa Claus. <laughs> it's a shelf sitter. So it sits on the shelf like that. I thought it was cute. Um, I'm only starting this at how much did I spend? Six dollars. Um, Oops. Did I do that? I didn't mean to. If I did, I'm trying to type something. I'm so, okay. Hang on. Let me get this together. Sorry, Jeremy. I was I was trying to put LOL to Karen. She says coming soon to all my selfies. Okay, sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I thought this is made by Abraham and Strauss. So this is kind of like a straw. It's starting to come off, though. Why do I? I've, um, it even has uh, handmade mittens. I think this is a Santa Claus. If not, I could go to something else. Because I didn't realize that was all coming off. I'm going to go to something else. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> um, oh, hey, let me see. Okay, I'm going to do these. I have these cute salt and pepper shakers. These are starting at $6.00. On their turtles made in Japan. Um, from my research, they're made by Logo. Lego. Oh, those are adorable. Definitely 1970s, I would say. So starting at six dollars, super kid. Yeah, they're salt and pepper shakers. Oh my gosh, those are I've never seen any. I'm sorry, I'm not faking it, you guys. Those are adorable. <laughs> Look at them. It's so cute. I know. <laughs> um, just a little bit of paint loss. Those are so 70s, 60s, 70s. 
Um, and this part, that's paint. It's not dirt. I got these at the flea market. I'm glad you guys are bidding on those. If not, I'm coming in. Those are awesome. I didn't see you get those. Yeah, it was at the new flea market that we went to. Or antique mall. It's so cute. Even has the flower power on the shells. Sense of theme. <laughs> Mama Joe, we sense a theme. <laughs> <laughs> They're kissing. All right, I'm going to do you uh, going once. Oh, hey, Dub. My local friend. <laughs> Yes, and these are cute turtles. And going twice. So far, Kimmy's in for 12. Deb is in for 13. Sorry, I got it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm paying attention. I, I swear I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, and we've got a just in case. And a last call. Last call. <clears throat> I'm trying to find new thrift stores to go to. I might have to travel out of state. I could go to Pennsylvania where um, Jocelyn is and Kate. Yeah. And... Yeah, they do well there. Pennsylvania okay. people do pretty well. Probably like four hour drive. To make it a weekend or something, huh? Yeah. Basically just so I can see everybody. <laughs> and... Yes, Mama Joe, we love pottery. <laughs> and there's item closed. Closed. So it's going to Deb for ba -bum. um 13. Right? Yeah. Um yeah, you don't have to add if you don't want to add a, the dollar because it was against herself. No, that's okay. <laughs> she really wanted those. I don't blame her. I you love them right. myself. And the color. Okay, thank you, Deb. Okay, here I go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kimmy, that's okay. That's okay. I hate to bid against you guys because I'm afraid no everybody will stop bidding and then my guests won't make their money. This was so cool. I did not have any pranks pulled on me today. I haven't left the house though, Lorraine. <laughs> so there was that. All right. So what I'm gonna, I've got something unique, but I'll do that next. I've got a unique salt glazed pottery, but it's from France. But I'll do that next because I want to type in the name. So we'll do this other little drip glaze. Now this one wasn't signed, but it's so cute. Look, it's got Bill Campbell vibes to the max, but it's not signed. So, no signature. So, but it's pretty. We'll just start this one at three. Because I don't know whose it is. But it's three and a half diameter, three inches this way, if you need shelf clearance for any reason. Very much Bill Campbell inspired color tone, color palette there. Super cute. Nobody signed it. Isn't that terrible when you make something so cute? Obviously advanced. This is not a beginner piece. That's for sure. Sorry about the ring lights stuff kind of covering up and the computer kind of covering up. The inside shows good. So we've got five. We've got six. We've got ten with Laray. I know. Why don't they be so, I would be so proud of this if I knew how to do it this well. Okay, so going once. It's so cute. But if you have some Bill Campbell, this will pair nicely with it. 
and last call. Uh, going twice and last call. So Kristen takes over from here. And we've got uh, 12 and 13. Just in case of 20. Lorraine must have some Bill Campbell that she's going to put this with. I'm just guessing. <laughs> She just thinks it's as pretty as I do. You just love it, Lorraine. It is pretty. The colors are great. And there's item closed. Thank you, Kristen. So Lorraine had a just in case. So it would be $1 above the previous highest offer, but it was Loray again. I'm not going to add the dollar. We'll just stay at 13. Okay. Write that down. Thank you. Now, next, I'm going to type in a name while Jeremy's talking well, towards the end because I don't want to interrupt because it's a long name, but I found some salt glaze. So I could have swore it was going to be like Williamsburg or whatever or Salmon Falls, but it turns out to be from France, and it's really pretty. But I'll type the name in too, okay, you guys, but let me let Jeremy do his thing first. So thank you, Lorraine. Okay, so I have something that I found, two of them at Salvation Army. Um, I have this wooden TP game. It's made in Poland. Um, let me open it for you. So it's kind of like the Russian nesting dolls, but it's not. So you have, whoops, all of these little people. Um, they almost look like Indians to me. And you get two balls. These are the plain balls. I'm not sure how it works. Um, it's hand painted. This is starting. This is starting at twelve. So let me show you the. I wish I could show you. It's set up kind of like an army almost. So you set them all up. I'm not sure how the game works. It's a teepee, I believe. That's different. And this looks like a ship, but I'm not sure. So You're right. It's, it's kind of like a nesting. You're right. It's kind of like nesting dolls in a way. It is. It's kind of like a weird shape, so you have to like turn it, try to fit it in there on top. Yeah, this one is cool. I'm trying to do this. You have to like get it right at the exact, there it goes. <clears throat> and painted, if anybody's interested in vaults. It's the flap on. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Okay, that's the entrance. Oh, okay, that's. Oh, what <laughs> it's a bowling game, maybe. Oh, oh, I'm gonna try. It's the flap on the TP <laughs> entrance. Right there. <clears throat> Hi, Sean. I'll do going once, going twice. Last call. That was definitely a different item. Da -da. Totally. <laughs> that makes sense about wolves. <laughs> it, it was a good guess, wolves. <laughs> it's a good guess to me. Okay, I think we'll pass. If you yeah. have something else, feel free, Jeremy. Um. And I want to say while he's looking, if you guys are watching this later, anything that didn't get an offer on that we didn't sell tonight, you can always send us an email if you're interested. You might catch it. But now do know Jeremy also does sales on knickknacks and on whatnot. I'll do these. Um. These cute cat salt and pepper shakers in a basket. Do you want to accept that on the teepee? Uh, um, I think I will pass. Okay. Going to do some more research on it? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so this is starting at five dollars. <laughs> These are made in. Uh, this is the Takawash Takashi. Cute. Oh yeah, that's the, the importer. Yeah. I just have to clean them up a little bit. They're they they're importers, but their stuff just seems to be a little bit better quality than the average of that time period of yeah. the little shots keys and kitschy mm -hmm. stuff. I oh, feel like. Yeah, I didn't see any chips or cracks. Yeah, I just have to clean them up. But look, they're hanging out of the basket. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> no, Michael and Jeremy. <laughs> I mean, Michael and Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Shirley. I have some cute bears. Yeah, they're not too too big of a seller. No, but the yeah, but there are people that like that brand because they know it's just a little, just a tad better quality. Um, this is Japan, right? Yeah, Japan. Okay, so I will do one once. Mama Joe, you just put in just put in how much your offer is in the chat. See how people are putting in numbers. See, that's their offers on the item. And you just watch the chat so you know where people are at. Right now, we're at $8. So until Ruby puts in, Kristen Ruby puts in item closed, you're free to put in a number of what your offer is. So you got to put $9 or more. Yeah, so at this point, it would be um, 9 or more. We're at $8 offer from Deb. Okay, so I'm gonna do going once, going twice, and last call. I gotta make sure there's no salt and pepper in there. <laughs> nope, they were never used. <laughs> it's okay, Mama Joe. Okay. We're glad you're here. So far, Deb for eight. <laughs> and item closed. <clears throat> Yay, thank you, Deb. Deb's racking up some goodies today. And we have to meet up to... Um, so I give you your items. <laughs> and then we go shopping. Okay, here I come. So this is the name um, that's on this little salt glaze piece. Look, and it's from France. It's not a U.S. piece. It's got those vibes, though. So if you like the salt glaze, like from Salmon Falls or what is it, Williamsburg and some other companies, this is nice, too, but it's from France, and that's the name of it. Now, they don't sell for that. Just because it is from France, they don't really sell for that much you know more so we're just gonna i can't remember what i paid for this felt like i paid 3.99 we're gonna start it at five i feel like i paid 3.99 i don't know it'll be in the video coming up but it's cute it's seven inches tall you guys and uh there's all the info on it but it's cute or if you just love pottery and you would like another piece like if you do things from around the world Okay, Sean. Yes, I'll show you my necklace. <laughs> so Karen's at five. Signature on the bottom. Seven inches tall. So we're going to go once. Going twice. From France. That's right, Dana. <laughs> and last call. Do I want to sell my necklace? This is the Betsy Johnson dupe. Sure, I'll sell it. Sure. 
It's got a smiley on it is why I bought it for myself. It's kind of hard to see the smiley. Hang on, I'll show it to you. Okay, finish this item and I'll show you. And I think we have item closed. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Karen, I'll put that in your box and you enjoy that piece. And hang on before I bring in Jeremy. And I will show you. That's Karen Chase and Vintage, yes. And that is, I lost it, $5. Okay. Now, I put it on this purple um, roped leather. It came on a gold chain. And I took off the Betsy, the BJ heart, because then that would make it wrong. Because these are, it's not an exact copy of Betsy Johnson, but it's all the stuff that whatnot girls and the Poshmark girls sell and try to pass off as Betsy Johnson. It's not Betsy Johnson. What the deal is, Betsy Johnson farmed out, outsourced her jewelry, what, some years ago when she was bought out over in China. And guess what? They do. They did what they always do and copy and make inspired things. So she actually never made one just like this. But they they take that concept and they make things and then they put a fake Betsy BJ heart on it. But it's not. That's bogus. So I always take that off and throw it away. But see, it's the a Betsy Johnson dupe. See the back. So you have to put it on your own chain and it had a smile. It's got a smiley face on it. So I wanted it. But anyways, I'll sell it. You'll have to put it on your own chain though. I'm going to, I want to keep this lavender necklace to put something else on. Cause I buy a lot of pendants and things, but I like chokers and like this length. And so I, I keep all these kind of things to put all these pendants on that I buy, but yes, it's pretty. Okay. So, um, where are you at? Who was at the cat? Yeah. So, you know, if you, if you want to look up, I don't know where we're at on these. When you look up this stuff, um, remember the girls on Poshmark and some of the girls on whatnot, they, they advertise it as Betsy Johnson and they charge way too much. So I'd say like, if you want this, I'd say like, I don't know. If you want it, I'll say $12, the cat. Let me know, and I'll take it off and put it in your box. Because really, the the smiley doesn't show up very much. But I bought this, and I bought what I really love. Let me show you. Hang on, I'm here. I know it's not cool to leave, but let me get it and show you. <laughs> I've got all my chokers <laughs> hanging over here. See, I get pendants and then I buy these chokers and cool chains and I put them all on. But these are my favorites. Um, but this is my, as far as a Betsy Johnson dupe, this is my favorite. And I did buy an extra one that I can sell. Dang it. It's the birds. You guys have seen me wear the bird. That is my favorite. But I've got mushrooms and teddy bears, but I do not lie and tell you that it's a Betsy Johnson. But that's my favorite, the white dove. I wear that a lot. <laughs> These are all my chokers that I wear during shows, you guys. So I've got them hanging on a hook on this door so I can remember to pick one out and wear one. <laughs> okay, so let me hang those back up. So anyways, yeah, just... If you want it, you want it for 12. Okay. Yeah. And then also, I ain't making any friends, but there I go again telling on telling you guys. Because you guys, you guys are my favorites. So that's just how it is to be careful on this kind of stuff. Okay. There's Betsy Johnson, and then, then there's the Betsy Johnson inspired. And you do not need to be paying that much. You can you know, if you, you can go buy this stuff yourself wholesale, the more you buy, the better deal that you get. But, uh, you know, you have to pay shipping and stuff, but you can get some stuff too. But if you do that, you know, resell it at a good price and take off the BJ hard because that's not cool. 
All right, let me write that down for the cat. The cat, your Ke your name is Kelly, right? Gosh, am I getting that wrong? The cat, aren't your name is Kelly, right? And you can have my BJ dupe <laughs> smiley flower pendant. Let me write that down before I forget. Okay. Your name's Kelly. That's what I thought. Okay, here comes Jeremy. Jeremy's been bouncing around. Okay, I see him moving, so he's good because he was in twice. I'm like, what are you doing over there? <laughs> but anyways, here you go. I got gotcha. you. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Excuse me. Okay, since we're doing pottery, I'm going to do this one. Um, this is BBP Pottery, 1991. Um, it has a cool flower glazed on the inside. Um, this is starting at six dollars. BBP. Here's the back. It's back is plain. Um, this is just like a glaze mark right here or line. It's not a crack. Starting at six dollars. Yes, I bought a whole lot of these for when I had my pottery sale. Um, I have a, oh, I forget who makes it. I have a rooster figurine that I have to list. That's a pretty one, too. That You said that's salt glaze, too. That's a pretty one. Yeah. BBP. Whose is that? That's an American one, right? Um, Fairmount Brothers pottery. Oh, and a croc. That's a nice one. Yeah. It definitely is epic. I'll show you the paint closer. I'll try to keep it still. You can see it shine. The gloss. There's one pottery um where they have crows. I think it was Bearmount Brothers that sells for a good amount. Crows. So far, Mama Joe's in for eight. Sorry, I'll do it going once. You know, in my area, I just don't find a whole lot of salt glaze. Not like, like you know, like say like over in Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania girls do. And do you find a lot of it? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I just I don't um, find a whole lot of it. Yeah, only only certain pieces sell for a good amount of money though. Um. But Bear Mount Brothers is usually good to pick up. Okay, good to know. So you look Although, at I pretty much pick up it. If I'm lucky enough to find it, I pretty much pick up all salt glaze at this point. <laughs> I'm going twice. And uh, last call. I got to look that up. The Pottery with Crows. Pottery dish. Whoops. Crows. Yeah, I bet you can find it in Ohio a lot too, Sean. Oh, Monroe, Monroe pottery. Okay, that sounds familiar. I think I've heard Jocelyn say that before. I found, that yeah. from George. I found that before. Monroe pottery. That's also salt glaze. And then the bears. And the item closed. Who was getting that's, that? Mama Joe. That's the one we found. Oh, that's pretty. With a, What's the value on something like that? A hundred. Oh. So that's a higher. Okay, that's yeah. Monroe. Okay, that's a higher end brand. We found four of these it was probably a couple years ago and did you, you successfully sold them oh yeah <clears throat> those sold quick oh i sold the um the bill campbell the large bowl oh the one you just got yeah the, the crystal line with the crystal line on it mm -hmm. the crystalline um 
sold it for 400 on ebay yeah oh that was a good flip did you guys I hear know. that did you guys see it it was gorgeous it was uh, bill campbell with crystalline on it i wish i had i could show you the picture if not it might i might have it because you showed it to us in this side you guys it was gorgeous yeah. I but I went out. I had to buy a special box for it because I didn't have one that would fit. Did you find it? Yeah, I just went to UPS. I mean, did you find the picture oh. to show them if they missed it? Yes. Oh, I don't want to show any buyer's information. Oh, I found it. I got it. Oh, oh you I got it too. Yeah, <laughs> it's so pretty. I've never seen a Bill Campbell with the crystalline crystalline or whatever effect yeah no look and it's on the sides also you got that a pretty good deal on that too didn't you yeah i spent 40 dollars and sold, sold it. it for 400 yep that's what i'm talking about you guys <laughs> i accepted an offer i had a 5.99 that's a good that's a good profit though and quick that's why I was like, uh, accept. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's my paycheck for the week. <laughs> okay. Yes, it was epic. Okay. So what am I going to do next? Oh, this is cute. I bought a, um, a grab bag of a bunch of miniatures. The little animals I'm keeping with, I'm collecting a bunch of little petites because I want to, next time somebody does a petite palooza or something, I want to, train i'm gonna do it too so i've been collecting them and if not i'll just do one i'll do it here um but i pulled this one out for you guys i just got this out of a grab bag so this is dell and it's a tooth box oh my god this is so cute look it's so cute and is it yeah that's a windmill can you guys is that the one with the windmill hang on so i can't hardly see <laughs> okay let it focus because I think that's the one that has there we go. The windmill and blah 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 tooth box. And they're deaf blue, delf blue uh hand painted. <laughs> so cute, you guys. So starts at three dollars. So precious. That's just a sticker remnant. Hang on. I saw I see it. I washed it, but I guess I didn't get a piece off. Jeremy, you're going to have to stay put now. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. That was just sticker residue, you guys. Isn't it sweet? So for your little pets or for your um, little kids or whatever, put their little teeth in. I have one of Highway's little teeth. I do. Little clip of his hair. I have I have Hannah's first teeth that fell out. And I've got a little clip. The first time we cut her bangs. <laughs> I think all good moms do that, right? <laughs> it seems weird, but I think all good moms do that. Marcy's at six, so it's that's cute. Okay, so going once. Let me turn this back around. Going twice. And last call. Oh, I got the sticker under my thumbnail. That looks gross. It's not dirt. It's that sticker. I just, <laughs> okay. When Jeremy comes on, I'll go wash my hands. It was just the sticker. Because in this grab bag, it had the, a sticker from a booth that it was at. Okay. And last call. Let's see. Where are we at? I think we're at Marcy for 10. And Lorray for 11. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, having trouble staying in. Did I, I said once, twice, last call, right? Did I, Ruby? Kristen, why? Because I, I have another friend named Kristen. Kristen, Ruby. <laughs> wow, are we coming across the two hour mark? Because here I go, right? And little teeth emojis. That's cute, Kristen. Thank you. Larray? Oh, just almost, Marcy. Almost. That goes in your box. Lorray for 11. Let me write that down. And let me see if Jeremy's stable. He is. 
<laughs> I got you to write for 11 before the item closed. And here comes Jeremy. All right, I'm on. <laughs> I'm going to figure <laughs> out why that keeps doing that. Because we have good internet. I don't know. But I have this Mexican lacquered box. Oh, I saw you get that, didn't I? Was that the one with the birds on it? Yeah. Yes. I oh. love birds. I was hoping you would bring that. I'm like, they're going to like that. <laughs> um, the only thing is it has this right here. But I figure this would be awesome project to uh, color that in, paint it. But you can't see it when it's on here. Well, you can a little bit. So this is starting. I paid six dollars. It's just so pretty. I I didn't blame you for getting it either, even though it's not perfect. It's just so pretty. <clears throat> yes, some my friend Rose had it in her cart. Um. And I saw it. I was like, oh, my gosh, you have this. She's like, yeah, I don't want it. So she gave me it. I was like, sure. I love Mexican stuff. Reminds, reminds me of um, Talavera. ASMR. <laughs> Jeremy, do you mind running two items? I need to take care of highway real quick. Sure. Thank you. Um, let me show you the inside. So the inside is like a matte finish. Um, it's footed. But I love it. <clears throat> yeah, and this one's a little bit larger than some of the other ones you find are small. And usually pottery. So this is the first that's lacquered. Lacquered. You're from Alaska? Ah, oh, cool. Well, thank you for watching our videos. That is highly appreciated. Uh, which reminds me, I just during the sale I just put out a video, but don't go, don't go and watch it yet. <clears throat> it's probably the wrong time to um, upload a video. <laughs> All right, so I'll do going once, going twice. Last call. Whoops. Oh, it's supposed to sh it's supposed to be a shape of a heart. I don't know if I'm just seeing that like a if it's supposed to be like that. Last call so far, Southern Mermaid in for nine dollars. Oh, you can hear her dog. <laughs> Thirteen years. And the item closed. So it's going to Southern Mermaid. Thank you so much. All right. Let me just write this down so I don't forget. Mermaid. Um, Mexican box. Okay, so next. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a vintage lot. Vintage lot. I think you guys will like this. This awesome 1970s trivet with a kitschy um, tiger. And it still has a sticker on the back. Cal Calvin's. Made in Japan. So it has the <clears throat> awesome 1970s yellow and then the orange, which I love, and a butterfly. And you're going to get these two... Uh, Vintage trivets, squares. So this is starting at, I would say, $8. I think that's fair. You bought a tiny home, Karen? $8 for the 
both three trivets. So this one is kind of like a per like a purple purple and green. And this one is green and orange. Is Jeremy frozen? Whoops. Okay. I'm coming in. Jeremy froze. <laughs> He's having some kind of technical difficulty tonight. I don't know what's wrong. Okay. I'll do something and he can start over or whatever. <laughs> okay. There he is. Okay. Here you guys go. I don't know. <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> I'll, I'll dump the other one. <laughs> Wait a minute, look. Oh, okay, you dumped it. Okay, there you go. Carry on. I don't know where you were at, but there you go. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> um, I don't think anybody is in for this lot, so uh, you could run something if you would like. Okay. It's actually not too cold in, up here. It's finally starting to feel like spring. I don't know if you got something coming your way or not. We we're, we're having a little, one more little dip, and then I think we're going to be okay. Going to be okay. All right, carved wooden owl. It is about five inches, and this just starts at five. It's a good one. Let me get my paper, you guys. So you can try to see some of the detail. Look, starts at five, carved, painted little owl look at the feet like those little shore birds huh i think it's about five yeah 525 come in close there you go nice job and those are not the eyes though are um Plastic or glass. They're not just painted eyes. Let me see if I can isolate that for you. See, they're either plastic or glass. Stuck in into the wood. So not just painted. Everything else is painted. I didn't see a signature anywhere. That's a shame. So going once, this is, remember when I went to the thrift store and there were like 200 owls and I bought 80 of them and then Becky came in behind me and bought a few. I've got maybe five left, maybe five left from all that. I saw almost all of them on the owl always love you train on whatnot that I hosted. Um, and then I did one for you guys here on YouTube. So there's about five left. So now there's four left. <laughs> this is a pretty one. I thought this was the best one out of what was left. The other ones are kind of ceramic. They're okay. But I'll probably just stick them in the booth. The email should be in the show description, but I'm sure Yvonne will show it again. Who needed that? I'm not sure who needed it. Just in case from Gloria of 10. I think I said last call, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's really awesome. <laughs> that's a good one, Dana. That's a good one. <laughs> I feel you on that.
She's waiting on item closed whenever Ruby thinks that it's time. And there's the item closed. So I think, Gloria, you have a just in case of 10, but I think you were the highest anyways, right? At eight. I think you were the only one. Okay, so we'll just do eight. Thank you, thank you. I'm not sure who's asking about emails, but here, I'll drop this down. Oops. My mama loved owls. Mama Jo says, okay, Gloria for eight. Okay, so see, this is my email. And then when Jeremy's on, his email is underneath his handsome face, okay? And here he comes. I was going to say, Dana, you've been with me for years. <laughs> you know, we know each other. Yeah, well, here he comes. There you go, Dana. Are you frozen? <laughs> okay. Jeremy's frozen again. Let me write this down and I'll run another one. Am I oh, bad? There you go. Holy what is wrong today, I wonder? Oh, I got to figure that out, though. Okay, so quickly, before I go again. <laughs> <laughs> I got your back if you disappear. So I have this... Um, shell flower bouquet on a shell so these are this is starting at twelve dollars um you see right here they took a shell and they sliced it to make petals out of it um i didn't see any broken ones but this is super cool starting at twelve dollars there's the bottom Like when I saw it, it reminded me of the jade tree. So these bend. Um, and it has moss down here, all up in the front. Um, I didn't measure it. I don't have my tape measuring with me. Yeah, this is super cool. I had it in our booth and it wasn't moving. Like, let me try it here. It looks about oh. 10 inches. Yeah. Put your hand, put your, do an L with your finger and you're like this. Because that's usually seven or eight inches. Yeah. So I got, um, oh, I got one right here. Okay. Right here. Usually Michael moves it on me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Eight inches. Eight inches. Okay. Yay, Mama Joe. Okay. You have a bad storm. Do we? I haven't checked the weather. Snowstorm. Maybe oh it's windy. God. I don't want any more snow. It just melted all. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do going once. Going twice. And last call. Oh, no. Snowstorm, I hope not. Where are you at, Mama Joe? So you got a storm coming. Something's moving around again because we just dropped 20 degrees overnight. This should be the last one, y'all, I hope. This should be the last little ditty. That's power. Oh. Everybody's saying, yeah, they've got some weather coming. Right, I'm close. All right. Thank you, Mama Joe. It's going to you for $20. Mama Joe. So I'm just send your just send your information to Jeremy there at the thrifting twins at yahoo.com. Yep, sure with your, to... your name, shipping address, and email address. Yeah. <laughs> shipping at your the shipping address is very important so we can calculate shipping. Yeah. Okay. I have the last pair. I got a whole bunch of these. I was going to take these to the booth, but what the heck? They're cute. The last pair of the horse salt and pepper shakers. So it starts at $3. 
their little holes are up here, you guys. <laughs> there you go. Little horsies. Let me see if I can stand them on the card. They start at three. You get both, of course, because they are salt and pepper shakers. The holes are in the black, are on top between their ears, okay? And they both have their stoppers. Little gray and black horsies. Denise is here for it for three. Little, they're ceramic, not plastic. They're ceramic. <laughs> Those are horses, right? Those aren't donkeys. No, because the tail's too long, right? Cute little tail. So I'm, I reckon the one with the white, more white towards the bottom would be how you tell it's salt. And this one has darker on the bottom. So I'm reckoning that's for salt and pepper. And let me see if the holes are the same. How many, what's the count? That one has two. They both just, they both have two holes. Yes, horses, Larray. <laughs> Denise was at three, Larray's at four. They're cute. I think I had about five pair, right? Over this last eight months or so. These are the last ones. Yeah, not donkey ears either. Little miniature horses. <laughs> so going once, going twice, and last call. <laughs> these are blue. These are blue blocker readers, so they really reflect the computer screen. Let me see where my white ones are. Oh, I thought you were just wearing sunglasses. No. Oh. They're blue blockers. There, that's better. So I can <laughs> I can see a little better. Mini horses, yeah. Where are we at? We're Larray for four. I love them, but love Larray more. <laughs> oh, item closed. Larray, Denise tapped out for you, babe. So, Larray, I'll put those in your box, hon. I'm still looking for yarn, too. I haven't forgotten. I still going to pay you to make me those hats. I just haven't found the yarn colors that I like, but I look every time I go to the thrift store. Okay. And here comes Jeremy. Jeremy's looking stable, so here he comes. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I have this um, awesome, awesome bear planter. People are saying American Bisque, but I think it's Royal Copley. I was going to say that a Royal Copley or Shawnee. Let me see the bottom. It's glossy yeah. here. And then I would say Royal Copley, right? I get confused between Royal Copley and Shawnee, but, but this that's is what I'm going to say off the top of my head. This is starting at $8. Um, it's an awesome bear coming out of hibernation. <laughs> I didn't see any damage. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a sassy bear. He's posing. So this is starting at eight dollars. This is about seven inches long. But look how cute it is. Yeah, he's watching TV. <laughs> Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> Okay, I'm coming in. <laughs> Jeremy just cannot stay stable tonight, you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong. Must be windy up there, huh? All right, we'll bring him back when he comes in. So somebody bought this a while back, so that's why you guys might recognize it. But I didn't. I never heard from them. So I paid three ninety nine, so four dollars some tax. We'll start it at five if anybody's here for it. Crocheted owl. You could buy this kit of the nose and the, um, hi, Jeremy, <laughs> and the eyes. I've seen these kits. Like, it, it comes in a plastic 
blister pack vintage of the eye and the nose. I saw one just the other day at the thrift store. Anyways, we'll just start it at five. Pot holder just hanging. If you like the kitschy colors. I held on to it for a long time. I still have a couple more of the giveaways where nobody, people won and didn't send their info. Every once in a while, I open one up and redo it. I've still got two left down there. Kelly, Kelly, the cat says five, and then she says six. <laughs> now, I saw these. I saw this kit in a blister pack at the thrift store just the other day. Going once. Going twice. And last call. We're at the cat for six, five or six. <laughs> six if you're wanting to make an offer, but if no one does, we'll hold her at five. I don't know how they do all this. So cool. All that twisted, braided kind of Celtic knot looking thing. And there's item closed. Okay. Kelly, Kelly, <laughs> you were the only one here for it. So we'll just keep you at the five, babe. Let's bring Jeremy back in for one more try. <laughs> Jeremy, turn your volume on, babe. Yeah, tonight's not the night. <laughs> you are having it. That lady messed you up today. It did. Okay. <laughs> so I have these three made in Italy. Wall plaques. So you get this one. This is starting at $8. This one. Look how pretty the colors are. And then a basket. Made in Italy. Um, now this one is from it is from Home Goods, but it's an older older sticker. But people have to remember Marshalls and all those places they sell imported items from Italy. Um, I saw Portugal and what's the other one? Poland. So you're going to get all three of these. It's so pretty. I love it. So you can put the basket in the middle. Or like this. I love the detail. Show the de those That looks like a hibiscus tree. And that has that has the flower power. <laughs> oh, who's leaving? Oh, Liz is okay. Good night, Liz. Thanks for coming. Talk to you later, Liz. Well, there's a name. There's a new name. Hi, Leona. Leona. I'll show you the basket. Let's see. Those are strawberries, I believe. Okay, so far Stephanie's at 11, so I'll say going once. Going twice. And uh, last call. Denise has a just in case of 20. So Kristen, let them work that out real quick. And Jeremy's frozen, but we can finish this out for him. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got this. We're closing it down. We can finish this out. <laughs> Let's 
Stephanie's got a just in case of 20. So we're looking for 21 or more. Yeah, he's having a hard time. And there's item closed. So let's see what's going on here. Denise had, and then the highest offer was 13 from Stephanie. So Denise for 14. Denise for 14. So we've got Denise for 14 on that, Jeremy. Okay. <laughs> All right, Denise. We finished it out for you, okay? Oh, thanks, the cat. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Okay. <laughs> All right. We better start getting this wrapped up. So I will do the raccoon, the crackle last, like I always try to do if I'm lucky enough to find some. And I did. I found two pieces of raccoon. So I got one tonight. I don't know if you guys have seen that video yet. I uh, found a piece of crackle glass. So that's good for those of you that don't have one yet. Then I'll do my two daughter add-ons in the giveaway. So let's do this and then we'll let Jeremy do one. So here's a different piece of raccoon. I, because of the metallic, I really didn't have luck isolating this little ideogram or ideograph to say it's probably good luck, prosperity, good health, something like that, right? The little Asian character. But it's a little Raku piece. It's signed. Looks like it was uh, 2013. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? One of 12? No, or is that one of 13? I don't know. Or January 2013. Let's call it like that. But it's a cute little stand. So if you like this kind of, I like the oil spill. This one's heavily glazed. Oops, sorry, Jeremy. Oh, I didn't even sorry. notice. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the two hour mark. So, you know, here I go too. <laughs> it's cute. Um, I think, I feel like it was $3.99. Anyways, we'll start it at seven. But if you don't have some raku, or even if you do and you like, the oil spill like I do. This one's heavily glazed. A little bit of a stand. I found two pieces. I found this and a vase. I don't know if that video has dropped yet. I haven't been able to get videos out very much lately. I think I only dropped one Thrift With Me video in the last 10 days. <laughs> so Again, that's probably, you know... If you could isolate it, it probably says good luck or good health or prosperity or something like that, right? Where are we at? Let's see, 11 for Lena Ray, 12 for Sean. Hi, Leona. And some kind of Greek key looking thing, which I really don't want to call it Greek key since it has a Chinese or Japanese, not Korean, because Korean does a lot of O's, right? Circles and O's. So I'm going to guess Japanese or Chinese, but I didn't get very far with it. And did I say, did I say going once? Going twice? And last call. Let's see where we're at. We're with Sean at 14. I need to show it up closer because it's got stuff on it. A little, few little pedestals on the back. You know why they're black on the back, fire pit things. And Sean, you got it, girl. 14. Okay. And we'll see if Jeremy stays stable for one more. <laughs> I'm stable. <laughs> okay, there you go. Good luck. I know. <laughs> I have an awesome chocolate poodle, black poodle. It's the bottom. Um, a few tiny 
paint chips here, but no real damage. Um, this is starting at eight dollars. Really cute poodle dog. Let me show you the face. I love the hair. So I've never seen a poodle um, chalkware before. So it lays flat like this. Just a figurine. Oh, tongue's hanging out. It has the brown nose and blue eyes. <clears throat> You know what's weird? I think I have um, seasonal allergies. Oh. I never had it before, so this will be the first year. I always diagnose myself with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you, I lived almost—I lived almost all my life, and I just think I developed allergies like eight years ago out, out of nowhere. Yeah, so it can happen. I, I thought I was getting sick, but I'm not. I just have the dry dry runny eyes and a little congestion but that's it and really tired i know the tongue is cute this is what happens when you get older some people suffer with them all year round my oh. brother ever since he was a kid suffered with them um i just developed them recently it's just seasonal thank goodness but I, I, I'm at a loss for what to do, you know, because I've never had it before. <laughs> yeah, Marie, I had a friend that in, at age 50 all of a sudden couldn't, was allergic to peanuts, just out of the blue. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I found out the hard way, the scary hard way. <clears throat> I um, exfoliated my face twice yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you look so pretty today? <laughs> <laughs> do that oh twice a week. It's supposed to. You're supposed to exfoliate, then put toner on, and then moisturizer. Yep. Well, you do look very um, like your cheeks got a little bit of a glow. You do look extra pretty tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do going once, going twice. I better not get allergic to peanuts because I love peanuts. Right? Peanut butter, all kinds of nuts. <clears throat> Last call. So for Stephanie for $10. <laughs> I think I named this one Felicia. <laughs> That's my new videos is um, naming the animals <laughs> that I pick up. That <laughs> adds fun. I like that. That adds extra fun. It does. My cousin's name is Felicia. Do you know what's weird is my other cousin in Brooklyn, she found my channel without knowing that I had a channel. Who's that? Felicia? Yeah. Oh. She just said, hey, wait, I know you? Or what? <laughs> and I just stumbled upon my cousin's channel. <laughs> I haven't hey. talked for in years. Item closed. Yeah. You need a family reunion. No. <laughs> For y'all catch up. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do one more, Jeremy, and then um, you do one more, and then when I come back, I'll do my $2 add-ons in the giveaway. Okay. Is that cool? Yes. It's because we're at two hours and 13 minutes, and I'm going to get really stupid any moment now. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> um. Wait a minute, I want to address something. Somebody said neti pot. And I was like, yeah, that's what I went for. I'm trying to trying to avoid the drugs because I hear they make you there. Dana. Yeah, I went for that first. And that seems to really help. Definitely. I'm trying to avoid. Jeremy's great. Oh, and if you, you I don't and you're kind of new, Kelly Kelly. So I don't know if you've ever met Michael, but if you watch their Thrift With Me videos, you can see his twin, Michael. Yeah. D they have different personalities, but they look the same. And they're both cool as heck. Just slightly different personalities, but they're really fun together, too. Yes. Only use, uh, yeah, I buy. I buy water for my neti pot. Yeah, don't use tap. I don't even drink tap water in my house. I don't. I don't drink it. I don't use it. Like if I could 
afford it. If this was our house, I would get a whole filtration system. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So, um, oh, you have, okay. Maybe that's how you found me was through them. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So you guys, I found another one. I'm so happy. One of these days it's going to run out. But for those of you that don't have one yet, or you just think this one's beautiful because this is a pretty one. I did pay $3.99. They're hip to me now. I used to get them for like $1.99. This one still has the Made in USA sticker on it, but this is a pretty one. So let's see, $3.99 for four. So we're going to start at five. That gives me about 80 cents. But it was $3.99 in tax. You might see it in the video, but that's a pretty one, isn't it? So I don't know if everybody has one that wants one or some people want more than one. This one's a good one. Just about everybody from the Thrifty Rich Club has one. <laughs> I've got one. Mine was sent to me and it has a dragonfly in it. Alicia sent it to me last year. So typically these are made in Colorado. And then someone told me, I think it was Lorraine, said that she, she has seen some that she says we're made in Oregon. And that to me, that makes sense too. Okay. So going once, going twice, and last call. Sean says, I need more, please. Well, I, I always have good luck finding at least one when I go out thrifting and some Raku. So last week I found two pieces of Raku at the same location that what Sean just bought and then a beautiful vase that I feel like the walls are too thin for shipping. So I'm going to have to put it in my booth. Yeah. This, this is a really pretty one, isn't it? I don't know where we're at. We're with Kelly, the cat. And so Kristen will shut it down when she thinks you guys are done. <laughs> I will. I will. Cause they're so cool. And there's item closed. Yes, Leona, seasonal allergies are terrible. Most of the medicine you take makes you sleepy. Say the cat now is part of the Thrifty Rich Crackle Glass Club, too. Oh, my God. 16. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Here comes Jeremy with his last item. When I come back, I'll do, I've got three $2 add-ons for your box and the giveaway. All right, I'm going to do a Rinconata. This one is a tiger. Um, it has a chippery right on the ear. But this is one I just can't get rid of. Rinconata, this is starting at $8. It's a cool tiger. Oh, wait. Right there, too. Starting at $8 for a Rinconata tiger. This one is epic. Oh, yeah, and Denise, I'll make sure I get your packages out on time. <laughs> For some reason, hers went out kind of late. I felt bad. <clears throat> so far, Denise is in for $8. Let me show you the behind. <laughs> <laughs> you have to see it all. <laughs> That's a cute one. And then the bottom, AR. Jeremy and Michael find artists on your Rinconada like I do Raku. <laughs> and a lot Dude. of times you could look on um, online auctions and buy it as a lot. Too much funk in the tap water. I don't drink tap water either. I don't drink, no. I drink um, Holy Springs. I filter my water. And for my neti pot, I buy distilled water out of the jug because I need it for my um, clothing um, steamer too. It's a good way to ruin your steamer by using tap water. All right, I'll do one once. 
going twice. Last call. Last call. So first, Denise for eight. I'm petting the tiger. <laughs> Super awesome mm -hmm. item closed. All right, it's going to Denise for eight dollars. Thank you so much. Okay, here I come. So, Jeremy, I'll I'll have you back in in a, just a couple minutes and help me with oh. the giveaway. Marcy, you actually have a box. Um, I don't know if you got my message. I tried to put them out everywhere that I did not send invoices for March, and I explained why. Just too much family stuff going on and my own stuff. I just did not get to it. So I'm like, I'm rolling boxes over and just adding for, I just, I'm just going to add April underneath where it says March. <laughs> I'm just going to go along like Kathy. It says March. I'm just going to add April. These are going to be March and April boxes. Unless you tell me that there's something that you needed and that you want, or you just really want to close out your box. You don't think you're going to be back for the rest of the month or whatever. But Marcy, you have a box. Where are you? Yeah. You have a box from March and you have, oh, you have, you got this last week. Marcy, you bought the little Siamese head base. So unless you tell me you need it to close out your box, um, I'm, I'm just adding April to everybody's box. Okay. I just, it was just too much. I explained at the beginning of the video what, everything I have going on and that I just didn't get to it. And so I'm just going to roll them over. But I will have time before I go to mom's. Like I can probably, if anybody wants theirs, you know, just send me a, a message, an email. And I, I can probably do about five tomorrow without ruining the schedule that I have with my mom and the insurance company for her roof. Okay. All right, but most people don't mind because let's see, I paid for mine, but can you hold it till the next month? I don't know how you paid for it because I didn't send you an invoice. Oh no, yours is hell. Yours is from January because you only had one item, Denise. So we talked about that. Yeah. Okay. But just keep adding to it. Yeah. And when I send the invoice, I I won't double bill you. Okay. And if I do, just holler at me. But I I'll try to remember not to do that. <laughs> I'll make a note, as a matter of fact, here in a second, so I remind myself that you already paid some of it. Okay, so two daughter add-ons. So I know this is a little cumbersome, but I tend to pick a bigger, a lower number, so that you go, you know, to make it more fair for those of you that don't have fast internet. So on the two daughter add-ons, you can enter as what I tell you to put in as many times as you want to try to be the number that I'm going to count down. I do that so that because I was noticing the people with the fastest internet were getting all the $2 add-ons and I felt bad. Now, there's probably a better way to do this with some kind of app or something, but whatever. It's a little cumbersome. You guys are always good about helping me count though and find it. So let me write this down. So I'm going to, this is really cute. Just put in um, scarf pin. I'm going to call this a scarf pin. If you want this for $2 to add to your box, and they decorated it with feathers and stuff. Isn't that so cute? It was 99 cents. It's like a big scarf or coat pin, okay? And decorate something else. But I thought that was cute. And the color, the peacock blue color is pretty. So scarf pin, and I'll take the 20th person. So now on the $2 add-ons, you can enter as many times as you want to try to be the 20th person. That's the best I can think of to try to be fair. And then only if you like it, because it's still a $2 add-on to your box. If you like this kind of thing, it's cute. <laughs> so, there you go.
just a big metal pin, gunmetal gray. It'll hold a nice scarf or on a coat or a sweater, okay? And if you like the little feathers in the peacock blue, they made a little flower out of feathers. Having trouble getting it to isolate. So the 20th person that puts in scarf pin. <laughs> yeah, that's a little better. It's cute, huh? Wolfy little thing. All right. And the 20th person. Let's see. One, two, three. <laughs> it jumped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there are not that many people here for this. So you guys will have to keep typing and help me get to 20. <laughs> Those of you that are here for it, just mm -hmm. keep typing. Well, hi, Jeremy. I haven't seen you for a while. So there's only a few of you that are digging this, but you'll have to type so I can get to 20 on <laughs> this one. I know. I know. I saw Fatbird Finds. They use an app. I think it was Fatbird Finds, and it pulls from the chat. I'll have to investigate that and see if it works with StreamYard. Okay, so now I think I can count. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Is it Marcy C? It's either Deb or Marcy. We got there. <laughs> I think it's Deb or Marcy. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Mary Beth came up with it. Somehow that makes sense. Mary Beth's really good at that kind of stuff. I think it was Marcy C. No, it was Deb. Okay. All right, Deb, that goes in your box. Let me write that down. I'll investigate that, you guys. But in the meantime, help me do this. Help me do this. Okay, the next one is, this is vintage. It's not in the greatest of shape, so I'm just going to do it as a $2 add-on. But it is vintage, and it's cute. And Mother's Day is coming up. But it's a little dangle plaque pin with Aurora Boreal-type rhinestones and a pearl. And then this little shell piece is hand-painted with Mother on it. The problems are in the back. It's a little tarnished. but. It's in the back. So it's a $2 add-on. Um, the 15th person that puts in mother, if you would like to have this little vintage pin. 15th person that puts in mother. Again, the problems are in the back where it's a little tarnished because it is vintage. But it's fine from the front. Okay? So if you, if you want to pick this up for $2, it's cute. A little bit of glue seeping through. I don't know. I just hate to not give someone a chance. This $2. It's cute enough for vintage. And so the 15th person on this one. Two. <laughs> Gosh, we're at 11. We need some more. We're at 11, you guys. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at 11. Those of you that want to just type some more in there, I don't have to pick quite as big numbers. On some of this stuff I see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifteen. Jeremy. Jeremy Robbins, right? Okay, Jeremy. I'm pretty sure that was Jeremy Robbins. I'll start you a box. 
for April. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see, Larray, it's a it's a possibility. Let me count it again, you guys. One, two, three, four. I might have counted you saying type away. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yep, Larray. My bad, Jeremy. Sorry, love. Don't hate me. Larray. <laughs> okay. And now the other one, we won't do quite so many. There's not that many here left. Um, this is about a size eight to a nine. It's just a beaded ring, you guys. Hang on. It's just a beaded ring. We'll take the tenth person. Purple. Dichroic and some little like lab um ha purple quartz amethyst quartz chips in there. We'll just take the tenth person. It's about an eight nine. It gives a little bit, but it's not a stretchy band. Okay, so tenth person that puts in ring. If you want this little beaded ring. Let me get my ring sizer and I'll tell you what size it is. Nobody said anything about the cat with the bunny ears. <laughs> so cute. Oh, it's a nine and a half. My bad. It's a nine and a half. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, about there, you guys. Yeah, I know. It's okay, Jeremy. I can do the giveaway, babe. Good night. We'll see you later. And remember, Jeremy's got a whatnot sale tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern. Okay. I know, Jeremy. Thank you. I, uh, Jeremy Robbins. I'm, I'm sure I figured you wouldn't care about that. Okay, ring. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's start with the rings. Number the 10th one. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see Denise. Teep, teeper, tepper. I think I see Denise. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, good night, Jeremy. 13 twin, you guys. So he's got a uh, whatnot sale. No, knickknacks. Knickknacks sale tomorrow, 7.30. Eastern, Eastern time, you guys. All right, and we'll do the giveaway. I got more Vespa Kitty pins in, finally, you guys. So this time, just enter one time. Pick a number from 1 to 100 and just enter one time if you're interested. I got some more Vespa Kitties. It's a pin or it's got a bail. I've got one. You can put it on a choker. You guys definitely love these. Vespa Kitty is what I call them. And she's got her fish bowl on the back with a little fishy in it. It's been a while. It took forever. They were on back order forever. But I got six of them in. that I'm going to save for giveaways. Because everyone seemed to love these. And I don't think everyone that, ha that wanted one has won one yet. So. Enter one time a number from one to a hundred. Black metal enameled. It's a pin and it has a bail if you want to put it on a necklace. I think about 15 of us have these. So we've got six more. Well, we'll have five more <laughs> after this. And I'll try to order some more until everybody that wanted one has one. All right, you guys, stop your entries. And I'll just pull one of my whatnot cards. I'm going to stop entries. I didn't spell that right, but there you go. Let me get my cards. Miss Jeremy's not here. Okay. And I'll pull a number and whoever hits it or got closest without going over. Okay. Kristen, thank you so much for tonight. I really appreciate it. 
Okay, let's see what we got here. Number 16. Who got 16 or closest without going over? I'm sending you the best spaghetti pin and brooch. Closest to 16 without going over. I think we're going to send that to Sean, who often shot calls for me. So that's awesome. Let me double check. You guys agree Sean got closest without going? No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I see a 14. Oh, Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> there we go. Stephanie, thank you. That's for kitty. I love mine. Mine's on a choker that I just showed you guys. Okay. And that's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. Finally, so cute. Finally, you have one too. All right, Stephanie. Stephanie S, right? Because I got another Stephanie. She goes by Stephanie. One of you is going to have to put a, a an avatar on your thing. That's Stephanie. That's you, babe, right? Stephanie S, my friend, for a couple years now. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. All right. You guys, thank you. So much fun. I had a good time. Uh, guess who's coming back? It's been forever. Next Monday is Becky. Vintage Viking Treasures. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, we haven't done a sale together forever. She does lots of sales on her channel, but we haven't done a sale for uh, forever. Yes. <laughs> yes, Stephanie. Yeah, I got you. Um, oh, thank you, Mama Joe. It was good to have you. I'm glad you got the hang of it. I do sales on my channel every um, Monday. And a lot of my friends do sales on their channels. Jeremy doesn't do any on his channel. He and Michael do them on whatnot and knickknacks, though. But I'll see you guys next Monday. I do have another Thrift With Me videos. I'll try to get it edited tomorrow night after I help mom out, okay? <laughs> Thank you. And Leona, it was good to see you here, too. I don't think there's a tie. It's Stephanie. There's two 14s. What? What are you guys saying? Oh, Denise. Did not see that. All right. Hang on real quick. Now that's okay. I'll just send both of you one. But now we've got four. But I'll order more. They were on back order. I'll just send um, Denise one too. Okay? It's the same thing. I'll make another card. Stephanie and Denise tonight. Okay? Nope. Denise, you're getting one too, babe. If you don't want it, pass it on to someone else. But it's a favorite. All right, you guys. Thank you. Remember, keep your love alive. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. And Skylar, your shirt's coming your way whenever I get around to it. <laughs> Good night, you guys. Oh, I got to take this off and put this in Kelly Kelly's box. All right, you guys. Again, remember, keep your love alive. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>